Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well and uh, today is 9th of February and uh, all the shops including malls are open finally in Cyprus but the super home which is closest to me which is in uh, Angomi area is closed for renovation so I have to go to Strovolos in order to get the polish and the new drill because the drill which I, we used to polish the rims is broken and I'm really tired to take out the paint from the rims with my hands, it, my hands have bruises like my fingers are literally blue all right so i got auto sole aluminium polish i was told by my friends that it's the best one for aluminium i got ingco <laughs> drill i don't know what it is and uh, i have warranty now so if i destroy it by polishing my rims i can easily come back get another one that's probably what's gonna happen <laughs> or they're gonna send me far away i don't know we'll see all right i'm home and this is the result we have from the rims this is the first one i've done we i polished it with 2000 grit so you can still see some scratches but you can see all those dots and like that it's not really clean and clear it's because we tried to polish it with a toothpaste but i don't think it's a good idea since i also got the aluminium polish this is the second rim that I've done. As you can see, we cleaned up all of this metal area and I got rid of the paint here, so it just needed to be sandpaper and uh, polished. This is the third one, which is almost done. Like, I just need to finish here and uh, get rid of all the paint in here. I mean, it's almost halfway done. And this is the one I didn't touch and it has this thing happening to it, but it's all right. I got the rim like this. I guess I'm going to be driving with this kind of scratch and hope it's not going to be visible. Just going to put it on the bad side of the car. So I see it as little as possible. And this is drill I got for 45 euros. Let's hope it's going to last a while. If I'm doing the job like mine, which is polishing rims, which takes a lot of time for it to work, I need to do like five minutes of working with a drill, five minutes to rest. I guess that's what I'm going to do. James from J-Spot gave me this beast to get rid of the paint from that rim and I try, I'll try to use it for here. All right, so I left it to cool down a bit because it got warmish. But I can already say that it's a lot easier because as you can see, this is the metal, this is the paint and there's a primer in between. But it's like, for me before, this would take me like 30 minutes. This took me five minutes to do. Obviously I have to wait for the drill to cool down, but this made my life so much easier already. All right guys, it's another day. Yesterday I didn't manage to finish all four rims because I had to do other things, but remember guys, I told you that there's like these scratches here. It's bent, like if you go from here where's the paint and it's like coming out and in. And if you look from above, you can see that it goes with a curve and here it goes a little bit more straight. And now I will go to the tire shop to ask where I can straighten the rims and also check other four rims if they're bent in any ways. Because if they are, and I'm gonna polish them, it's gonna be time wasted, so I don't want to waste any more time. So I went to the place, and uh, by the looks of things, it's just the lip here that is bent, but the rim itself is not bent. And uh, as I was told by the tire shop, uh, that if I try to straighten the lip, which as you can see here is obviously scratched and bent and stuff it might crack here and if it cracks here I can throw away the rim so I think I'll continue on polishing and I'll be looking on for another one of those rims so if you guys know anyone that owes this kind of rim I might buy it at some point alright guys we are at James from J-Spot house with Lee, Lee Photography and James is doing the gardening and James gave me this sandpaper sponge, which is a lifesaver. 
if I knew earlier that they existed because it makes my life so much easier. Like the way how easy it is for me to polish the lip here on the third rim is unbelievable. Like I'm almost done and I've been doing it for like 10 minutes, if not less. And I finished completely the third rim with polishing here. I mean, there's some scratches there and here, which are nothing. Uh, also, yeah, I forgot to do these things. Uh, it's gonna be soon. I think today is gonna be completely ready. Tomorrow I'll try to finish the fourth rim since it's all right. And then we're gonna paint the spokes and try to find some tires. All right, guys, it's another day. I went to the super home and bought another sandpaper drilly thing. I don't know what it's called because this one is a bit too large and it cannot get in here. So I'm hoping that with this tiny one, I'll be able to sand down all of this here because it hurts a lot. Like, I don't feel my fingers. And <laughs> I want to make my life as easy as possible and also to save a lot of time because I'm running late. And I want to finish the car until Saturday and today is Thursday. So yeah, let's get grinding. Right now, these three rims, got I got rid of all their paint. And now what's left to do is to go with 320 grit, 600 grit, 1,500 grit, 2,000 grit sandpapers. And I should get this kind of look. The 400 grit is still gonna be a dry sandpaper, but 600 and above will be wet sanding, which is the most satisfying process because this is when you notice huge difference from the rims. This is 80 grit and this is 400 grit. You can see that this one is already a lot more polished. This is like a thousand. You can see reflections, yeah, sort of. This one, not so much. All right, so this is 600 grid. In this area here, you can see that this is 600. And here it is still 400 grid sandpaper. When I go to this polished area with 600, listen. Four hundred, six hundred. It's all smoother here, and it's wet sanding. I have like a bucket of water and six hundred sandpaper, and just do that. Okay, hey it's next day. Uh, last night I was polishing until one a.m. and I went home like completely exhausted. And right now, Kita came to help me with polishing the rims. We're gonna use the polishing machine that uh, James from JSpot gave me, and use this space to polish the chrome pieces. Meanwhile, I'm finishing the chrome polish uh, with 2000 grit here. I'm gonna start to sand down the spokes for 400 grit so we can paint the spokes. Just trying to finish it until tonight to, and because tomorrow morning I'm gonna go get some tires. James from JSpot and Lily Photography came to help me with rims, thank God. Masking of this rim, now Lee's gonna paint that rim while I'm gonna do the masking of this rim. Like just literally have a knife and cut all these remaining of masking tape. Nikita is still doing the rim there, polishing the last one which we also have to mask. Too much work, too much work. All right guys, we're on the final straight. Nikita is painting the inner part of the rims. He did already, but god damn it, the light. Inner part of the rims are painted, except this one, but it's going to be next. That's how we're looking for now. And like this garage area is really moody. Like there's trash, there's rims, the paint booth, rims, literally everything that car guy wants. Like just working in the garage and having fun with their friends. Unfortunately, all my cameras are dead. So I think I'll see you in the morning with the final result of the rims. It's the next day. Well, same day. We've been literally doing it all night. 
the rims and this is the result well this is the worst rim because it got some glitter like built on it but those rims are looking nice I mean yeah there's some glitter spots but uh, we don't care about those anymore like the rims are done Alright guys, so Wolf is finally done. I put 205 50 16 uh, tires on these rims. By the way, these rims are 16 by 7. I still got exactly what I wanted. The tire goes around the rim with a donut shape, which is exactly what I wanted. The lips are already kind of dirty, but they're chrome and from 3 meters. They're looking awesome. They reflect all the light. For the fitment at the front, you can put two fingers in between, meaning that you have to, I have to lower it. And for the back, <laughs> you can hardly fit a finger in here. Like, this is maximum, I can't get more. And if you go all the way here, we also cut the bumper, as you can see here. Because it was rubbing and cutting the tire from here. Meaning that I have to raise the suspension at the back a bit, because if I put four rims and tires I'm rubbing all the time. I have to raise the back, lower the front, and we're gonna get the BMW stance kind of look. But about the rims, when we painted them, I masked it not that well, so I got the, some of the paint on the lip, which I could fix at some point. I'll take acetone most probably, try to clean it up. But I'm pretty happy with the paint job, like overnight, this is perfect. The sparkles are here, they're not crazy like sparkly, but it does the job. And for the rim that's bent, as you remember guys, this is it. Like the places where it got like cut into, you can see it's still black and we didn't manage to clean it up. But if you look from outside, there's not much of a difference. You don't really notice the fact that the rim is bent. It's not losing air and uh, I drove it 80 km an hour already and it doesn't seem to vibrate. And right now, to complete the look, I have to make the B-Wave style rear spoiler for the E36, which is going to be one of a kind because no one ever did this before. So a lot more custom work is going to be done for this car to make it one of a kind and unique and show my personality, you could say, because cars are actually art. Make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell in order not to miss a video when we're going to be creating this car to the proper JDM vibes. Anyway guys, see you next video.